The Butterfly Effect 3 Revelations is a time travel horror movie. And we're just going to skip the second one because the second one did not feel like in any way a horror movie. So this movie starts with our main character already in the past. He's witnessing a murder, which was pretty graphic, so I already knew this movie was going to be a lot better than the second one, and definitely a horror movie. And he ends up going back to the future, and he didn't intervene with the killing because he already understands the concept of if you alter the past, it alters the future. And he basically just solves unsolved crimes for the police by going back in the past and finding out who actually committed the murder, jumping back to the future and telling the police who did it. Well, his ex-girlfriend, who is dead, her sister comes to him with new information about the case, and she's like, look, I hear you can help people. The dude who was convicted of the crime, he's innocent, and I need your help. Well, he knows that he can't really do nothing because if he was to stop it, it would completely change all of the future. And he's like, no. Well, through some thought, he's like, fuck it, yes. Which was literally breaking one of his own rules that he put in place, but whatever. He ends up going back into the past to find out who actually killed his ex-girlfriend and when he does this things go bad obviously when he jumps to the future he realizes guess what i created a serial killer so like the rest of the movie is just him constantly jumping back into the past to find out who the serial killer is and every time he does it he makes things worse and worse and there's a crazy plot twist at the end about who the serial killer is pretty badass i like it so my review of the butterfly effect 3 is this movie is one of those rare instances where the third movie is better than the second one it obviously won't be better than the first one because the first one is a masterpiece but the second one honestly wasn't all that good and the third one actually was pretty good the second one didn't feel like a horror movie at all, while the third one jumped right back into the horror genre, definitely had mad horror vibes throughout the whole movie, even the gory scenes were like pretty good practical effects. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, I thought it was actually pretty good. So my rating for The Butterfly Effect 3 would be a 6 out of 10. I actually would recommend this to people. I thought it was very, very good, actually. And it had a very, very good, crazy ending, which I really like. So, yes, The Butterfly Effect 3 is a must-watch. You could skip to, as none of the butterfly effects are connected, and definitely a movie you need in your collection.